A CRM is not a marketing tool, it's a sales tool. And I think there's a lot of confusion around that, especially with um, tools like uh, Builder Trend and Co-Construct where they've tacked on a CRM, um, a light CRM that you can kind of use then you're missing a lot of critical marketing tools uh, on that side. So how are you actually generating the lead and getting that contact in the CRM? Hey guys, and welcome back to Builder Funnel Radio. This is episode 114 and another edition of the growth series. Today, I want to talk about technology and tools. So in the remodeling residential construction space, um, it seems like there's a few different project management tools that have um, kind of risen to the top. You know, a lot of people are using Builder Trend and Co-Construct. Um, there's some new players like BuildBook, and uh, and then there's some more like commercial grade type of tools. Uh, but those seem to be three of the most common ones that come up in in our circles and the people that we talk to, and. Whenever I'm talking to somebody about these types of tools, the conversation always comes up around um, having all kinds of different tools and trying to get them to talk to each other. And so today I just kind of want to talk about what those tools are, how we see them interacting with each other and where the value points are. So um, the way we break it down is you've got marketing tools, sales tools, and project management tools. So your marketing tools are going to be things like HubSpot, Google Analytics, uh, Buffer, uh, any social media tools, any email marketing tools like MailChimp or Constant Contact. Um, those are marketing tools. They're meant to um, attract people to your website, to generate or, or capture leads, um, nurture leads, stay in front, and then track where those leads are coming from. So that's your marketing bucket of tools. Then you've got sales tools, and that's gonna be things like a CRM. It's gonna be uh, booking meeting links. It's gonna be maybe um, some drip systems or some follow-up. Uh, it's gonna be anything related to primarily around that CRM where you've got task follow-up, reporting tools, um, those types of things. And then you've got project management tools. And so I know a lot of people use um, builder trend and co-construct, and those are going to be, here's how I actually manage the project um, from start to finish. Now, what I've found is today there is really not a way to integrate all three. Uh, definitely had conversations, tried to push some um, integrations through, talked about developing some open APIs, um, haven't made a lot of progress there with some of the project management tools. Um, so far, I'm optimistic about the future, but that kind of leaves a gap. And so what I find is that connecting your marketing and your sales tools is the most important. If, if we can't connect all three, we got to connect two of them. Let's connect marketing and sales. And the big reason why is typically the reporting all gets tied together. So if you close something in your CRM, you want that to track back to your marketing side and say, oh, this customer came from Google organic search, or it came from my Facebook page or Instagram, or uh, it came from this paid Facebook ad or paid Google ad. And so you want to be able to track back uh, to that original source. And that typically is the most effective when you have your CRM and your marketing tools connected together. The other reason is if, if we can't, can't connect all three, we're going to have a manual entry step basically. And so I'd rather manually enter uh, customers that you close in a CRM into a project management tool than let's say we had our CRM and project management tool connected together instead. Then all the leads we generate through the marketing tool, now we're having to manually put all those leads into the CRM. That's a much bigger number than your customer number. So I think that reason alone makes it worthwhile. Connect your marketing and sales. When you close a deal, just put that person into your project management tool um, and then you're off and running from there. Um, so that's kind of my, my big uh, push. And I'm hoping too that maybe just getting this, uh, this episode out into the world a little bit will um, encourage people, if you're using one of these project management tools, talk to them about open, opening up an API. Basically, that just allows other tools, other uh, marketing tools and sales tools to connect in so that you can subscribe to something like a HubSpot and 
a co-construct and then you can connect them all together. Um, and right now the, those APIs just aren't open. So if you're using a project management tool, it'd be great uh, if you can reach out to them and say, hey, we're looking at integrating with some sales or marketing tools. Um, do you guys have an API or is there a way to do that? Um, I think that this is what the industry needs. We need a way to connect all these tools together because we're just wasting a lot of time right now with manual entry, um, data gets lost, you have to transfer it. Um, it's 2020, we shouldn't be having to do all this. you know. So um, most tools just out in other industries, they, they want to connect to other tools. They want an open API and you can connect through things like Zapier. Um, and that's just normal. It's, it's pretty standard. And so I'm not sure why um, we haven't really seen that, that big shift yet in this space. But this is, this is kind of my uh, call to action for you guys is if you can reach out and, and kind of uh, make a push, it would make a lot of our lives uh, a lot easier. Um, the other thing I kind of wanted to talk about today was just around embracing technology. Uh, I typically see that for whatever reason, uh, construction industry is typically several steps behind other industries in terms of tech. Um, and I'm not quite sure why that is, but the, the tools that are out there right now are really, they're very user friendly today. So they're not super complicated. Um, yes, there's always a learning curve. You have to figure them out. Um, but there's so many online tutorials, there's videos you can watch. And, and the, these companies have done a good job of just trying to make it easy for your kind of everyday person to pick pick them up and run with them with little hands-on training. And, uh, and what I find is that as you dive deeper into the tech route, you find lots of cool ways to automate, to save time, to be more efficient, um, to improve your processes, especially on the, the sales side, the CRM side. You know, we use a lot of uh, booking uh, links for our meetings here at Builder Funnel. And so um, I rarely book a, a meeting by just like, having to email back and forth, pick a time, let's figure out a day, um, talking about it. Like there's just meeting links, people can click them, they can pick times. Uh, that alone, I probably save hours a month just not writing emails and saying, hey, pick one of these four times and I'm looking at my calendar and then they're looking at theirs. Um, and that's just one thing. You can do all kinds of reminders and automated follow-up. Um, and, and I would just make the last kind of uh, push to say that uh, a CRM is not a marketing tool. It's a sales tool. And I think there's a lot of confusion around that, especially with um, tools like uh, Builder Trend and Co-Construct where they've tacked on a CRM, um, a light CRM that you can kind of use. Then you're missing a lot of critical marketing tools uh, on that side. So how are you actually generating the lead and getting that contact in the CRM. And I think a lot of CRM tools, they just go, hey, this is great. It's a contact management system. Once you have a lead, you can follow up with them, you can track along with them, but what about actually generating the lead? And so um, just wanted to throw that out there as well. I, I definitely have that come up on conversations um, about what the, kind of what the difference is, I guess, between a CRM and marketing tools. And marketing tools are um, some of the ones I mentioned at the beginning. They're gonna be things like Google Analytics for tracking. They're gonna be, uh, MailChimp or Constant Contact for email. It's going to be Buffer or Hootsuite for social media scheduling. Um, one of the reasons we use HubSpot is they roll a lot of these marketing tools together. And so they all talk together and work together and you don't have to go out and get, you know, six, seven, eight, ten different marketing tools and try to get them all talking to each other. Um, there's different SEO tools to help you rank and get found. Uh, there's a blogging tool. There's your website. Those are all marketing tools. And then you've got, once you've got the lead that typically goes into your contact database and your CRM, and that's where the sales tools pick up. And I look at those as once you have that name and email and you're trying to do one-to-one -one personal follow-up to set a meeting and work them through your sales process, that's where sales takes over. Marketing is, hey, I'm trying to attract via brand and content and get them to come to us. And then they're either calling or filling out a form. And that's how you actually generate the lead. So um, that's something I, I talk about a lot with um, people that call in and a lot of our clients when we're breaking down what the tools are, what the functions are. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, 
this is kind of my call to action for you guys. If you um, want to go out to, to whoever you use for project management, kind of make the push, ask the question uh, about creating an open API, that would solve a lot of problems for our industry and in getting, if we can get these three tools connected together, marketing tools, sales tools, and project management tools, then we can really gain some nice efficiency, get a lot better reporting and data and lose a lot less data. So um, get out there, see if you can make a push. Um, let me know if you have any success. We've definitely um, made our, our push too, but I think if we get more and more people reaching out, I think it'll start to raise some flags and, and priorities on uh, the project management tool side of things. So um, thanks guys for listening. I appreciate you. Um, if you thought this was helpful, please pass it along, leave us a review, uh, share it with a friend. And as always, we'll see you next week here on Builder Funnel Radio.